Hey there, Iron Cross. I'm Frendo. But uh, to answer your question, I get to be Satan for a day. Ha! Huh. So what would I do as Satan to really fuck up the lives of real believers? Well, to start off with, I'd go out there and I would find all of the disgraced, hypocritical, evangelical preachers, the, the Ted Haggards of the world, and I would put them right back where they used to be, preaching the good word. I would take all of the rapist priests and the incompetent administrators, everyone in the church who's ever been found out to be an embezzler, I would put them all back in charge. I want them spreading not the word of Satan, <laughs> certainly not the dogma of science, but the gospel of Jesus. You see, if I was Satan, that's what I would want. I would want the church and all of those who preach the gospel to be associated with hypocrisy and a complete lack of reason. I would do everything I could to minimize the likes of South Dakota Girl or Lasoyo or all the other people you like taking swings at, all the Christians who are willing to actually get out there and talk to the people that they disagree with, to get them to see that you can be a real person and still worship Christ. In fact, I would take it a step farther, Iron Cross, and I would put you in charge. Yep, I would get rid of everything, absolutely everything, that keeps a secular government in power, everything that keeps religion from just absolutely running people's lives, telling them everything that they have to do, everything they have to say, and even what they have to think. Because, you see, I'm not sure that you're really all that committed. I think Christianity for you is about you. It's not about other people. It's not about acknowledging that they come from different places and they go to different places. That life is a journey. And for the most part, people have to travel it on their own. Fellowship is a way of helping people along, helping people to get through it. But where they go is still going to be up to them. Because in the end, according to your beliefs, they're the ones who have to answer for who they are and what they've done. You aren't going to be able to step in and do it for them, even if you're the one who told them where to go. So, because I see this in you, I mean, I don't know you personally, I don't know you all that well, but I have your videos to go on. And what I see here is that you don't respect the individual choices that people make for an individual path to get to God. You think that everything can be centralized, that can be boiled down to words and statements and, and really a dogma. And that ain't it. So what would really get people away from Christ? What would get them to distrust the church and the Bible and those who believe in it? <laughs> if I were Satan, I'd put you in charge.